I'm going to record uh, me playing the boss. He's pretty highly related, rated. So let me um, see if I can beat him, win, lose, or draw. I'm going to post this video. It's a live stream with live comments. So I'm going to use my usual opening, Old Faithful. I hope he plays. Okay. Well, that's the weakest response him playing there. So, um, my usual response to that to get it normally easy win. Hopefully, it happened this time. Unless he's found some way of getting around it, is to just block that. Okay, and then I'll let him take that. And um, so because I want to pin this checker here. Because once you can pin this checker, um, it's normally an easy win. Okay, he's breaking me up. He saw the pin. Okay, and then I haven't had the opportunity to say this for a long, long time, but I'm now I'm going to say, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. And this allows me to um, break up his um, checkers at the back by doing this. Because he's going to obviously um, force and uh, squeeze this checker to get it back, but then obviously I sacrifice it and um, to to um, so that it breaks up his back row. He can remove, and my back row is still intact. And another tactic is actually to, um, not to go head to head with checkers. Try to go to the side of a checker, like that, for example. And that helps you out in um, getting, yeah. Again, you see what happens. He has to, um, you know, exchange. And again, this drags him away from the back row and his middle row. And again, I'm going to use the same technique that instead of confronting him straight on, face on, I'm going to go to the side of him like that. Okay. And then... One, one checker can control three checkers in the corner, for example. If he moves here, then I move there, then I'm controlling three checkers. Okay. So I'm in good shape at the moment because um, uh, my back row is still in, intact. He's left a big gap here. So what I'm going to do is to play here. To try to control the center again. Okay. So what I can do here is to play here. He has to defend. Okay. And then this is what happens. I will then play here. And, and get a king. So he can't, yes, he can prevent me from getting a king because he can move there. So what I can do is to pin him here, just like I did, I was doing on this side. So I'm gonna pin him there. So these, these three checkers are pinned at the moment. Okay. So he's running out of moves already. Um, <laughs> he can't move these three checkers. Um, so let me see. If I go here, his only move is there. And I go here, then he's lost. Okay, he would have to give me a checker. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Because he's run out of moves. So my next move is here, of course. So that um, wherever he plays, he's got to give up a checker. So he's lost the game. 
So I'm going to tell them I'm going to post this in my daily game. Yo. Post this game. As a live stream of checkers. Okay, so he's lost. All right. So it's just a matter I faced off everybody. Um, check it out on YouTube with the checkers. There's a live commentary. There's a live commentary on how I won. Okay. So it's just a matter of him um, giving up. <laughs> He'll probably give up. So that's how you win if um, they make that move to the right hand side of your of your checkerboard to make a fairly easy win. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Hope you um, subscribe to my channel and keep coming back to the um, checker games. They are live games. There's um, no edits apart from emojis, arrows and circles to um, explain what I was thinking at the time. So have a great day.